Hi, my name is David Montoya, and I am a sales manager at Courtyard Marriott, a brand of hotels well known as a mid-ranged variety of hotels designed for both business travelers and families alike. Our location in uh, Gainesville is located near the I-75 and comes with all sorts of amenities to accommodate for all types of guests. Today, I will be speaking with a travel manager at Infotech, a local software con contracting company that contracts construction employees to take on multiple projects all over Gainesville and the neighboring areas. <clears throat> they accommodate multiple contracts at a time and have construction projects all over the city and different communities around it. Recently, there have been multiple issues with their current provider of hospitality within their customer service department and they have contacted me personally to ask about our business. I'm going to try and sell them a proposed hotel rate for their accommodations that they make with the construction workers and uh, try to like sell the, sell the point to the uh, actual travel manager. The person that I will be speaking to today is Spencer McLean and he as a travel manager deals with the accommodations of the workers during all of their travels. Um, I will handle his objections with a brief demonstration of how good that our customer service can work and a short case history narrative where I can um, talk about multiple times that there have been times that we have dealt with difficult customers and things of that sort. My closing strategy for this exercise will be the objection close where I will uh, follow his objections with saying if I agree to this, well, we have a deal and things of that sort. And uh, if you get to stick around, you'll be able to see it all. Hi, Mr. McLean. How are you today? Hey, I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Uh, the city shirt is growing. Have you checked out that new movie theater by Celebration Point? You know what? I actually have. Uh, the area around here is looking to expand in the next few years. And a lot of big projects are going on over there. Uh, lots of new exciting stuff coming to this well. <laughs> Well, the city is always growing. More and more people are coming to Gainesville every year, it seems. Uh, I really appreciate the time you took to come and meet me today. I know you're a very busy man, so I'd like to get straight to the point. My name is David Montoya, and I'm a recent graduate of UF with a computer science degree and a minor in sales engineering. I have worked with Marriott for a few years, and we take pride in the service that we provide in the Gainesville location. Our company history has always been geared towards housing business travelers, and we would love to personalize our service more towards you and your business's needs. Uh, well, our hospitality situation is usually taken care of by Doubletree, and you know, their services have fit our needs nicely in the past. But lately, there's been a lot of complaints from the construction group, and you know, with the workers and the staff and their customer service. This has made some workers unwilling to come to Gainesville some contracts have even been put on hold. I would like to resolve our housing situation with the customer service that I'd be satisfied with. I understand. At Marriott, we understand that traveling already is a hassle, and we try to maximize comfort for all of our guests. I believe that we can possibly come to an agreement with a fixed employee rate for your workers. Does this sound like something you are willing to do? Well, yeah. I'd like to hear more about the services at the courtyard. What benefits do they provide? Well, before going deep into the benefits, I'd like to speak more about our customer service program, since that seems to be your main concern. Our location prides itself with how well we handle customer service requests. We even have been awarded the Central Florida Hospitality Award for two years in a row. Our staff is at your service 24 hours a day, in case anything was to inconvenience your stay. You know, I like the sound of that. Can you explain in further detail how you would handle a request if, let's say, you know, you were to run out of stock for an item? Sure. Our items rarely go out of stock, if ever. Usually orders are put in for a new inventory when our storage capacity is at 40%. This ensures that our inventory is never truly low. However, in the case that we are completely out of stock of an item, we can place an emergency order on our system that would bring the item within the next hour, no matter what time. So, the maximum a customer would have to wait for, for a request would be an hour, even if the stock would be empty. An hour, huh? You know, that could work. How are the cleanliness of the rooms? Any housekeeping issues we should worry about? Of course not. Our housekeeping cleans all rooms daily, regardless of how dirty the room is. Cleanliness is very important to us at Maria, and if anything is asked to be replaced or rewashed, our staff does it immediately and continues what they were doing prior rather than the other way around, since our customer's direct request always comes first. 
I have to say, your customer service is sounding like something very promising for our business. And that was my biggest concern when it came to finding a new hospitality company to partner with. So if I have all of this written correctly, would you like to start using our services now or in the next upcoming week? Well, I'm just still not too sure about switching over the services. I see that your services have higher fixed rates than what we currently do. What makes your services worth more? Well, another main benefit of housing with us in Marion Courtyard in Gainesville is our location. Being so close to the interstate and Archer Road in Gainesville is essentially priceless, especially when dealing with construction sites near the area. If you would take a close look at the map of Gainesville here, our location is optimal for traveling in the direction of Butler Plaza, Celebration Point, the University, and even Hale Plantation. All the nearby areas are nothing but a 10 minute drive maximum. Location factors in more to just gas costs. It costs time for transportation, and with the city growing and growing, the traffic grows with it as well. Well, what about food locations? Anything nearby? Well, we have fast food options like steak and shake at McDonald's if they ever want something quick to eat, but for groceries, there is a Publix right across the street uh, that they can access for easy shopping. There's also a lot of variety for nice restaurants too in the city of Gainesville, also less than a 10 minute drive away. There really is no losing when you have a location as close as this to everything. Well, I see. What amenities of your specific location do you offer? Mm. Um, well, we have conference rooms so that our guests can meet in a 24-hour business center within the hotel that our guests can use freely, as well as Wi-Fi and a complimentary breakfast voucher for the bistro with our business partners. You see, with all these factors being taken into consideration, we no longer become the most expensive option, but rather the cheapest one. With our breakfast voucher and the time and gas you could save, it ultimately costs you more to remain in business with Doubletree services rather than switch over. On average, you would be saving $4 a night per customer. With the number of contracts your company has, those small increments add up, and you have a large difference between the total cost with the, within our two services. You know, this seems very promising, and I like the idea of having a conference room where I can get the workers together and organize our brief meetings. Of course. Our conference rooms are available to you at any time. Would you like me to sign up the paperwork now? Well, hold on. I just don't think there's that much of a difference between one location and another, you know, in terms of uh, distance. So you're saying that you do not see the difference this location can make in terms of traveling distance to and from the constru construction site? You know, that's perfectly correct. I just don't think that the distance is enough to make the cost worth it. Well, I can show you a demonstration of how close we are to the current construction project in our competition. If you were to have a project in Celebration Point, the new area being developed, you would save a total just travel distance of 0.7 miles from 0.1 from us and 1.8 from the double tree. Per day, that would be 1.4 miles of distance saved per worker from to and from. If you have a team of 10 workers, it would be 14 miles of distance saved per day. When you look at the individual distance of the trip, it is not a major difference, but taking into consideration the number of workers and how many trips are made to the site daily, the distances add up, and so do the travel costs. Well, I guess I see. You know, when you put it that way, it just makes a lot more sense. I'm glad I could clear that up. Are there any more questions that you have for me? Well, I do have one doubt, and it's concerning your customer service team. You know, how do I know that their service is really what you say it is? I can clear that up for you. There is a survey that we give to customers at the end of their stay. Business partners are not alike, and they can comment on what works well with our customer service and what doesn't. We use this survey to encourage good customer service practices by rewarding our employees that have good reviews. One of our employees was once mentioned by name and how the staff was so friendly in helping retrieve a business jacket that a customer had left in the room and informed the client that they had left it in the first place. <clears throat> our service team works non-stop to assist clients in any way since it ultimately benefits them in the ending. Does that anecdote clear up your doubts? Well, yeah, it does. Thank you. Uh, I would like there to be no confusion on my so I want to know more about the personalized customer service. Of course, no problem at all. So our services would accommodate for the stay of your construction workers with their complimentary breakfast voucher and 24-hour customer service and access to the business center. We also offer our location adjacent to the interstate and close to any area in Gainesville as well as in the center of multiple restaurants. Do you have any more questions or concerns? Well, I do have one concern. Is it possible to have a customer service agreement written? and signed by both parties, just ensuring a good relationship. Uh, I just want to be sure that there are no issues like what we've encountered before. If I let you uh, create and overlook this agreement, do we have a deal? You know what? I think we do.
Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. McLean. Thank you, Mr. Montoya.